I'm gonna vlog every day. Oh. <laughs> no way, a real one? This is a no for me, H&M. Like, why would you have not done that? But it looks like a legit gremlin. This is not normal for my skin. Honestly, almost painful. Oh my god, you're sick. Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day One. And the issue of full transparency, I did just film an entire introduction to this video saying that I was gonna do these vlogs weekly. And it just didn't made me kind of sad, to be honest. I know that I did uh, an Instagram poll a couple of weeks ago and most people wanted weekly vlogs. And I get that, it's a lot to watch something every day, but I'm hoping that these videos are gonna be short. With that being said, it's December 1st, it's Vlogmas. If you don't know Vlogmas, what Vlogmas means, basically I'm gonna vlog every day up until um, Christmas, which is exciting. And they're not gonna be really long. Hopefully they'll be kind of short so you'll actually be able to watch them every day. But it does not feel like December 1st out today. It's really humid. Yesterday it rained all day long and right now it's particularly warm so not really in the festive spirit with the weather but I do have a Christmas mug having some tea and working today I'm really excited for vlogmas I'm really excited to get our tree hopefully at some point this week and just see what we can do in this new like normal world that we have where we're not doing the same sort of Christmassy things but we're just gonna see what we can come up with. Speaking of that, this weekend Ari and I were driving around looking at Christmas lights because honestly we had nothing else to do. If you live in the Boston area, I, Ari actually found a blog post with all of these kind of neighborhoods of places that last year did really awesome Christmas lights. So we just drove around looking for those for hours. I will put that in the description box if you're interested. All of the ones that we ended up going to did have lights, but it was only like a couple of houses. It was still really cool. I did take some video footage. I meant to vlog it with my camera, but of course I forgot my memory card at home. So I took some videos on my phone and I will insert them here for you. because we got out of the car because they do donations for Children's Hospital. So we're gonna do it, but you can do it with the QR code because they have a fundraising page. So smart, you don't even have to do cash. They... Wow. <laughs> no way, a real one? No, you didn't. I've never seen one. What did it look like? <laughs> wow, this looks so good. I hope that gives you a little bit of festive spirit to kick off your day. I am gonna get back to work and I will check in with you guys later. All right, it is a little while later. I am still working, it's almost one, <laughs> and I just had lunch, but I thought I would take a quick break and put my new bedding on that's kind of Christmassy, even though it feels kind of unnatural to be doing this because this new bedding is like flannel and it's still pretty warm outside, so I hope I can sleep tonight. And then I think I might go for a walk because it's still so nice out and listen to the new episode of What We Said podcast, which just came out today about cancel culture, which I think would be interesting. And I'm gonna switch up my sheets. This is just a new duvet cover um, in a double-sided pattern. And I don't know which one I prefer. And I'm really excited because the ends of this snap, which I think will be a lot nicer than the buttons, which is what mine is right now. 
um, but I feel that it kind of like pulls on the fabric a little bit and just kind of like see I don't know I just think eventually like this is just not gonna end well. <laughs> so the plan is to do this now. It's looking extremely wrinkly because it came out of the wash a couple of days ago and I literally just like crumbled it into a ball until I wanted to put it on. So wish me luck. This is never a fun experience to change over a duvet cover. Two things, I've not finished doing this because for some reason this always takes me forever. Number one, it took me absolutely forever to figure out which way was the top and which way was the bottom. Second, I figured it out. My biggest pet peeve is that this corner on the inside top to go like over this way does not have a way to loop in with the duvet. So how is this ever going to stay together? I guess I just have to keep like making sure it's all right because this one, as much as I... <laughs> just kind of shot all over it. This one had ties on the inside to tie in to this. <sighs> Let's see what happens, guys. But like, this is a no for me, H&M. Like, why would you have not done that? We'll, we'll just, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I am <laughs> like low-key sweating. That took way longer than it should have. Like, probably like a half an hour. <laughs> I completely made my bed. This bedspread does not necessarily match my room because everything else I really have is pink, like my desk chair and whatever, but it's fine. It's the holidays, we're going with it. Here's what it looks like. What do we think? As I said before, it's also reversible. So we can just kind of switch it up, but it's really soft. It's like a flannel material, so I'm probably gonna be dying in my sleep. But I love these two giant pillows I got at TJ Maxx. This came with two pillowcases, which I have put back here. I'm sweating. <laughs> I am gonna get ready and go for a walk. Also, I will link this um, whole sheet, or not sheet, what am I saying? This whole <laughs> bedspread in my description box. Um, it's from H&M. It took forever to get here, so Fingers crossed if any of you want it, it's still available, but yeah, it's really soft. <sighs> I just got back from my walk and it was really nice. It's actually so nice out. I like layered up, so when I was too hot, I could take off my sweater, but now, that I'm inside. I'm really hot. <laughs> I have my window open, but it just feels so warm in here. I also wanted to open my advent calendar with you guys. Also, I'm looking like very pale. I really need to use some Isle of Paradise tonight. I need to remember to do that. I've got my Cadbury Dairy Milk advent calendar, and I'm very excited about it. Number one. Let's see. It's the Christmas countdown. I swear these are the same like every year, like with what the phrases are and stuff, but yet like it's not an old advent calendar. Why can I not get this chocolate out? Okay, really? Like I actually can't get it out. Every year I swear I say I'm so bad at getting them out and I really am. I think this is a reindeer, but it looks like a legit gremlin. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh, it's melting in my hand. Mm. Okay, back to work I go. And then I'm gonna go home for dinner tonight. And I think I'm picking up takeout on the way there, but we have not decided what we're gonna have. And Liz has some Christmassy treats waiting um, at home. So I will show you guys those when I get there. I'm still working, but I just noticed that I have like a spot on my face. And I really, I never get breakouts. Like, this is not normal for my skin. And, and my face is red because I just keep touching it, but I can feel right here, like, I know what it is, I think. And I'm really upset. <laughs> I think it's my youth to the people. Superberry overnight mask. That is 
causing my skin to break out. I'm really sad about it because I used it last night and it just like stays on your skin so much. And last night was kind of warm. Probably didn't need to be wearing that. I probably should be either not using it at all or saving it for the cold, cold months because I do really love how it feels on my skin, but I think I need to be wearing it when it's like really cold and my skin is really dry and needing it because I don't think my skin needed it and like what? This is the weirdest place to get a breakout. I just had an experience where I was getting all of these kind of like bumps on my chin. I still kind of have them and I used a glycolic acid for the first time. I'll show it to you guys uh, later if I remember. And Leah, this angel she is and an expert in skincare, told me that it was probably from sweat, which is just wonderful. It must have just been from like in my sleep. I think it was happening when I was wearing that mask, like when I first got it and I was literally wearing it like every night for like a week. So yeah, it's not really red. I mean, my skin can be red, like my chin, but it's like really, really, really just tiny like bumps. Um, and I was noticing it like around my nose and stuff too. So I think that that's what was causing it because I've never had anything like that before. And that's kind of the only really new product I've used. All right, I've just showered and have put on the Lush Mask of Magna Minty Mask to hopefully just draw out whatever is in my skin. And this is the mask that I love to use the most to like just really cleanse my skin. It is so pepperminty like honestly more minty than I ever remember it being and it's like honestly almost painful how freaking cold this is on my skin like it's not cold to the touch because it just sits in my cabinet but it is so minty and I'm just gonna let this dry and then go and my family needs to decide what we're gonna eat and then I'm gonna pick it up and go over there for dinner. We just ate dinner. And they're having some of the cookies that I made the other day. You know what we need? I tried one the other day and it didn't have white the white chocolate in it and white it was like so disappointing. Good. Right? Yeah. Me too. We need frosting to put in the milk. Oh my god, you're sick. No, seriously. Try this. Liz said that they reminded her of the cupcakes. They're very good. Try this piece because of the white chocolate. The the cookie itself isn't that sweet. It's a lot of like cocoa powder. And then it's white chocolate and m some milk chocolate. But the milk chocolate was too thick. I should have gotten a thinner one. Okay. Mm. Isn't the white chocolate so good? Mm -hmm. Liz went to Trader Joe's today and got three boxes of these, which mm. are so delicious. They're mm -hmm. like the creamiest, mintiest, delicious treat. And my favorite snack, well, How did you find these? I thought the guy said that they, oh my God, what is this stuck to? That, no, he said that to me, but he was lying. Oh my God, Even these are the, chocolate. yum. These are the best treat wow. snack ever, ever, ever. I always end up eating like the whole bag in one sitting, which is just, just awful. Like the, um, right? It's made by this, it's the oh, same right. girl's recipe. Better? It's Tanya's okay. recipe. Do you like these better or the cupcakes better? No, I like the frosting with the cupcakes. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the white chocolate doesn't taste like frosting enough for you? No, I don't like the frosting with the, cl the color in it. Okay. Well, then next time I won't make it with the color in it. Oh my god, this is so good. I feel bad that I burnt the bottoms of them. No, no they're perfect. Not. Guys, I brought so over so this whole thing was full the other day. How many I have you today. eaten? Oh my god, I'm sick. all I ate today. Should I see if I have any, um, any frosting? Mom, you're sick. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no, you couldn't, possibly. And then, we might have to do a taste test of mm. these. Wow. Danish butter cookies. What? Open those up. All right, we'll do. And then sure. peppermint bark, which we, I feel like we always have this. I thought we could give that to someone as a gift, maybe. Oh, that's really thoughtful of you. And then she got this Ferrari to have wow. some cold brew. Delish. Hello, guys. I just got back from hanging out with my fam. I'm looking much tanner than I was <laughs> this afternoon. I don't think I looked this tan in real life, though. Um, all thanks to the Isle of Paradise drops. I used three drops of the light mixed in with some of my moisturizer and feeling 
sun-kissed. But I'm going to sign off the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you for watching. It means a lot. I hope you're excited for Vlogmas. Let me know in the comments if you're excited and if you have any sort of fun ideas of stuff that we could do during this Christmas season. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.